we're recording right now. We are recording right now? Yeah, oh. of course. Okay. So we right. no claps or anything anymore. Oh, okay, I don't ready? know. One, two, three. That's good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Wait, gentlemen? <laughs> Start again. Ladies Bye. and gentlemen, welcome back to the fourth season of the Custom Culture Rodcast, brought to you by Murfo's Rod and Custom Shop in beautiful Buda, Texas. Speaking of the devil, I'm sitting here next to the man, Murfo. How are you, sir? Doing great, Deuce. Thanks for asking. It's wonderful and, to see you again. And you, sir. Thank you. And Custom Colette. Deuce, it's hot in the shop. Right it is now. hot in the shop, but your hair looks great. <laughs> it went flat. <laughs> Smashing. <laughs> it just went doop. Speaking of the yeah. shop, what's new going around around here? Man, uh, head down. We just got um, back. We're doing like two cars. Oh, we just got back. We just yeah, got Tulsa, back. Tulsa, the Starbird Show. From Tulsa. the Starbird Show, and it was so good. It was so good. I think the best part about the whole show was just being able to see everybody, like getting like five, ten minutes, even though we were crazy busy running around. Um, we at least got like, you know, Tim. We got to talk to Tim Strange. We got to see Penny, like yeah. all those cool people, you know. Well, and chop that top. We, to we missed you. Oh, oh no, I know. You sure. I, know. I wish I could have been there, but yeah. I had family obligations. I couldn't go, but... That chop you guys did on that shoebox was sick, it was so and it came fun. out great on film. Thank you. The color of that yeah. car was great. I watched the whole thing. Yeah, it came together well. Head flow. It was great. It did. Yeah, it we was. weren't going to stop until it was done. No, no, you have to finish it. Got to finish it. Otherwise, yeah. Right, yeah. So cheap. that was a great experience. I'm really, uh, you know, honored, I guess, that they had us do that. It's the sure. second one that we've got to do together. And uh, it's fun, you know, it can be frantic in moments with, you know, people kind of on top of you when you're trying to be artistic and do your kind of <laughs> yeah. gem. But it's cool, man. It was a great experience. Well, hey, speaking of artistic, I want to introduce a couple that have yeah. talk about artistic. Their cars, are, your cars are sick. They're amazing. I love them. I, t I was talking to a guy the other day about some of your stuff. That bug, which you can talk about here in a minute, was just one of the coolest looking things I've seen. Anyway, I have Ian Roussel and his wife, Janie on. Come on. How y'all yeah. doing? Hello, hello. It's Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> Jamie. Oh, I sorry, I was just talking about my mom before the show, and her name is Janie. So sorry. Jamie, Hi. my bad. How y'all? Hey, guys. <laughs> What's up? Good Welcome. Hey guys. Welcome so to what's the haunted new? mansion. We want to know all things. Shadow. He's out of control. Shadow. What's up, Shadow? Shop dog for sure. We should have brought out Hugo. Showed up here, so she's part of part of. This is her Aww. first official interview. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. She just showed up and she's like, "I'm not leaving." For sure. Yeah, she's like a <laughs> desert dog. We don't know where she came from. We just Aww. were having a conversation with how many times during our interview I say "for sure." That was okay. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, one, one thing that's interesting when you just said it is that uh, being a desert dog, you guys are in the middle of the Mojave Desert, right? Yeah. yeah. I, and we bitch you here about how hot it gets in Texas. We ain't got nothing on you guys. I've been through there before. And it's a dry is heat. Hot. It, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I've heard that before, but it's, but it's like hot. Arizona. Oh, it's a dry heat. Yeah. Shut. It's still freaking hot. There's only so much you can do. But, like, we get a, we get a good wind. And in the winter, the wind sucks, but in the summer, it's good. So, yeah. Ian, do you uh, do you relish like you like the heat, dude? Do you like being in the heat? Well, look how frosty red I am today. <laughs> I was doing yeah, man. I mean, this is what you so, get here. I know. He didn't wear a screener's hat yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> but you've been know, there for uh, a long. He's been there for a long time. A couple of our contemporaries that live in the desert, and it's like they just thrive on like the yeah. heat. They want it to be like 120. Can't wait for it. No AC, like, and I kind of start to think, like, what's wrong? What's wrong? Well, that, that's like, how we roll. We only have an air yeah. conditioner in our bedroom in the most really? extreme parts of the summer. Yeah, no. And yeah. in the wow. shop here, I have a porta cool, and that's yeah. it. Times like that, like when it's so hot, if you feel anything cool, it kind of just ruins the moment. Yeah, like, you, you get just, like goosebumps. <laughs> it's, it's yeah. Yeah, we have fans that blow hot air. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, why do you even have them on and just blowing the here's hot air at me while I'm trying to... Here's a humidity heat, though. Like he was saying, this yeah. is dry heat, and that's... Sometimes it's, that's it worse. Different. It's harder to breathe than hot heat sometimes. I don't you know. Can maybe I just used to feel them. your eyeballs evaporating. How do you <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> it's <laughs> serious. You feel everything disappearing, yeah. The desert <laughs> wants to kill you. But one of my first wow. things when I moved out here, because I moved from Seattle... I told Ian I need a swimming pool. So we didn't have a swimming pool the fir first year, but we did the second year because that's the only way I can survive. Like I'll get up in the morning and like go to take cool a dip off. with the water, yeah. you know, kind of hang out. Like we do our thing. You can just kind of, we live so far out. You can just jump in the pool and just hop on back out. Yeah. 
So I'm Man, actually like, looking for my sail pool this year. Yeah. <laughs> every year the desert like totally eats our pool. <laughs> yeah, we gotta buy a new one every year. Man, see, Seattle to Mojave is sort of like a That's change a, of habitat. It's like what I yeah. do. I yeah. moved from I, I'm a Northwest kid outside of Portland, of okay. Oregon, and I moved down here to Texas. Yeah. My dad, my dad was from down here, you know. So we we visit. He was from Lubbock up in the Panhandle, and we used to go. And man, talk about it's hot up there when nothing's good. There's no wind. There's no nothing. It's just hot. Right. And move when I first came down here, I'm thinking oh, this is crazy. It was like 108 yeah, degrees especially like the first being day. From that. I'm not from the Pacific Northwest. I grew up in Illinois, but uh, I lived in Florida for many years as well. But this is definitely a different kind of heat. But out of all the heats, I prefer this yeah. heat. The dry. Our friend, yeah. Alan, our friend Alan is uh, living somewhere near Lubbock. And he said, if you stand up just right on your front porch, you can actually see California. It's so <laughs> there's, there's, there's a town up there called Plainview. And my mm. dad told me that when... When back in the day, how it got its name was a guy went to go pick up a girl from his house and he wanted to kiss this girl. And she goes, As long as we're not, we can get away from the light on the porch. And he said he went like eight, ten miles. And he yeah. said every time he turned around, he was in plain view of that light. And she, he never oh, got wow. a kiss that I little love, girl. And I love all the Texas isms. <laughs> we, <laughs> Alan and his wife, whenever I talk to Lara Benuelos, she always has some Texas ism yeah. to say. I love, I love it so much. <laughs> I gotta get on that. I don't oh, have there's that right tons now. of them. My there's dad so had, many. Like I feel oh. like they're like limitless. <laughs> but yeah, you got my the, dad had millions. You got the wind also, right? Tremendous winds out there because we do. Yeah, yeah, not so much down <laughs> here really, but up oh, in like Chicago, sure like oh, the like, Windy right, City yeah. or anything. There, there's nothing up there stopping anything coming down from Canada, right? In the Panhandle, they get everything. My when my granddad died. It had snowed that morning that my younger cousins and we were making like snow angels and whatnot. We went into his funeral. It rained and we came out and the ground had split. It was so hot out. I oh, thought, wow. welcome to the welcome to the panhandle. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy it's up wild. there. Hmm. Hmm. No, I like it down here where there's trees and water. This is a good part of the Texas. Yeah. Well, green. you guys are like yeah. near Austin, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. awesome. Yeah. We're little, we want to get suburb. out that way. We're going to come visit y'all. Yeah, come on, on visit. Let's go. Oh. We got plenty of room. You can yeah. stay. Friends. Yeah, come yeah. on out. We're ready yeah. for it. We're very hospitable. Yes. Yes. Like, I just heard, stay. I've we heard. have so much room. Yeah. Just come out. Chuki knows. Like, she did it once, and I'm like, now you know. Yeah. So mm. you come out again. Oh, I want to know about you two. I want to know how you, what you guys are doing in the shop. I want to know what's new on your, your plate, all the things you guys for the most part it's the youtube channel like we're just hitting that hard jamie learned how to compute all, all the things and yeah. that's what we're uh -huh. up to. i'm building cars and jamie films yeah edits produces the whole thing yeah that's a lot of he's work got, he's got three build no four, four yeah, yeah. so we uh have the bug builds that like i don't know like where'd you get that bug from a number of different people it's in a number yeah. of parts. <laughs> some of the parts yeah. he was going to use for a full custom garage and then that didn't a lot of pan things. out yeah. he wasn't able he didn't have the time to develop the idea yeah. and then we have little jewel but that one's on the sidelines we don't want to talk about that one yeah. um and then we have my jeep there's been a, a civilian jeep it's like a 1946 oh. jeep ready yeah that yeah. I have been having my eye on. So Ian's building that. And then tell him, tell him about the Zephyr. The Zephyr. Oh, that's what I wanted to oh, talk yeah. about. We were looking at some pictures. <laughs> I, was already uh, I knew y'all would like to talk about that. There's some local folks that uh, just, I, I gave the guy, coincidentally, a Jeep body because I had a couple of them here. And like he paid it forward. He knew about this family oh, estate. So the guy had the Zephyr 37 in the yard oh. in the 60s. And like they started to maybe do an engine swap, nothing was ever completed, but it was there. Bella expired, and the family trust. They got an estate sale going, and the guy called me. He's like, "Yeah, dude, like you can get this thing. Like you can mm -hmm. get Just this like, for thirty-seven too." Oh, yeah. well, I mean, we paid for it, but yeah. you know, it yeah. was it was yeah. a deal. <laughs> well, if you see it on eBay, it would be like a fortune, right? He's like, yeah, right, right, like, right, right. Pricing, like it's so gorgeous, and it was like fifteen miles away. Like, whoa, that wow, is fantastic. That's I'm rad. Like, Good for what you. What a great me. score, yeah. And like all the pieces are there, like the Just grill, the, the lights. Are the yeah. taillights there? We found so you know you know what it's like. Look around your shop, right? The guy's got <laughs> little pieces of it ferreted away in every corner. 
the mm-hmm. lady in the estate liquidation, she's like, are these tail lights for the Zephyr? Glass. Yeah, that's yeah. them. She yeah, got those the are them. Glass, all the things, the hubcaps. Yeah. 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 Uh, oh, super that's cool. So good. The engine, the V12 is gone. It went to the scrappers and the rear axle oh. transmission. So, yeah, most of the rest of the car is here. So Ian just oh. lowered the Zephyr on our YouTube. Yeah, yeah. He did the C notch and then the I'm new with cars. So every video No, that you're we, you're naming I've, it all. I I hear I've it. never seen it. any of this stuff. So for me filming all of this, it's like wow, like now I know what a C notch is. I know what mono spring leaves are. Well, that's part of the, the <laughs> charm of the YouTube. It's we met like we're not even We met at Bernie right? Man. I knew yeah. nothing about any of that. <laughs> <Right>. Completely <laughs> wow. different. Yeah. yeah but how like how much do you are you growing to like love it and watching the builds happen you know them come to life? it's really it's cool i mean i'll be very honest for me having cars be like my entire life is a little overwhelming i'm more like yoga i like to cook i like to garden like do all those things but it's really cool to like work with like ian and like see like what he's doing knowing what he's doing and i i really like editing and telling the story on youtube to people that maybe are techno like mechanically or you know building challenge like i am i'm right. able to kind of like simplify it so we have a right. lot of people um, on our youtube that are like i don't know anything like i would never pick up a grinder like i wouldn't even know where to start but they like like watching it because they like to see it kind of through my eyes that's right. awesome. That's great. Do you know? Do you yeah, notice cool. when when the car likes to, like Ian's probably told you like when a car eventually it gets its own personality or its own soul. Have you noticed that in his builds where yeah. there's a point where even you as a layman you can look at that thing and go, "Oh man, I'm I feel it. I get exactly what you mean now." You know. Well, Jamie's dune buggy, especially like that's her baby. Persephone, yeah. she's cute. Right. Persephone, she's got, what a great got a name. <laughs> but that's until great. while Ian was filming Full Custom Garage, he's on hiatus with his television show. I never had set foot in the shop. Like mm. I would be in the house, like doing whatever I was working, whatever, just and I just hear like pounding and like the grinder and like tools being thrown. And now, like, I'm in here and I actually get to see, like, what he was doing. And so it's it's been pretty cool. Yeah. Tools being I love it. You do. Well, you happy. don't hey. throw them, but you're like, I don't need this. <laughs> that was, uh, Dink. A lot of clients. They, yeah, they, they have a way of making noise, those yeah. tools. Yeah. Yeah. And I always look at it, like, if, you, if something drops of his, I'm like, why would you drop that? Well, it's yeah. a one time. Did you, you throw know, it? Within 30 seconds, you're going, ah, damn it. I, 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 can you, can, will you hand that to me again, please? Take care of your Why'd you chuck it? Ah, just bring it over here. <laughs> it's so, so cool to watch have, the dynamics. I definitely have more of a, an appreciation of the art of custom car building. Because when we mm-hmm. met, you know, he's like, hey, like, you want to, like, I'd been here only once before and I, I knew he had a TV show, but, you know, I live in Seattle. I was like doing like my own thing. So when I moved here, remember Gene's show was the first place we went together. We went to Winfield's oh. car show as like our first date. One of the yeah. <laughs> I was nice. like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Sorry Where are God. you? That's a great one to go to. I was like, why? He like got like people like around him, and I was like, what? And I... then we went to SEMA. Oh our... boy! Oh yeah! Oh. It was great. <laughs> Yeah. We almost got her a marriage and all, but it's all good. We made it through. <laughs> oh, no. Sort of a no. trial by fire. Uh, <laughs> it, made, it made it, though. It's tumultuous the, first per- couple of months. So here we are. <laughs> Maybe it's better to get the tumultuous part out of the way yeah, first. Yeah, just get it right, yeah. it, right it in. And it's then like such like a good like, test of probably, relationship. It's probably a good formula. You yeah. Know, yeah. Just go get just get into that. Yeah, just and then just kind of how we come roll. out the other side. Yeah. <laughs> and then she's like, you know what? This is worth it all. I'm here. Yeah. I'm staying. Oh. We're good. Well, I feel the That's same awesome. way. I would never have amounted to where I am today Aww. without collaboration. Like, yeah, ever. That's awesome. I'm, yeah. I'm a, I'm it, it does show when two people support each other. Like, Absolutely. and it shows even with your your filming and you supporting him and he's supporting you doing the filming. I mean, it it just there's just something about people's aura that just booms. You know what I mean? And uh-huh. I love power couples. That's like my thing. I'm like, yes, yeah, more of them. We have, we have a lot of fun. We go through it sometimes, but well, you know, I mean, that's normal. You guys know. Everybody does. Oh, Everybody yeah. But that's, work. that's, um, yeah. that's, that's well, it's useful. I mean, it's important. Like, it's like, you got to yeah. be real, you know. I love to hate, you hate to people love People aren't just, it, 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 would, <laughs> it would just be boring if you were just exactly the same. Well, it would perfect, be. It you know, would I mean, be. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. You got to get into it. Sometimes. Yeah. 
So yeah. I have no desire, like Colette, I see what you do, like with the cars and stuff, like, and I think that's so amazing. And like, especially like women builders, like in the industry, because I feel like women are really underrepresented in For like sure. the custom community. Um, I definitely took a lot of heat when we started our channel. Oh my God. Really? Tell her to shut up. Why is she in the shop? Like all the online Like comments. some really uh, yeah. online people, I'm the dude. Wife. <laughs> Those computer right. warriors, they don't know shit. Don't worry about them anyway. Oh, no, I know. But I'm just saying, like, women are really underrepresented, I feel like, in the custom community. And so it's been really cool to, like, document from my perspective, what Ian is doing. Do you know what I'm right. saying? So, right. And then people will be like, oh, are you going to like learn how to weld? Are you going to do that? I'm like, hell no. I have no <laughs> I say hell I, yeah. No, but it, Let's I go. Think it's, it's, cool. it's a cool perspective, you know? But I don't, I, I don't have any desire to do that. You know, pick up right. a grinder. No, I just, it's not something that I'm interested yeah, you in. You end up with hands like these. Just pull yeah. them up. <laughs> <laughs> no, our hands, yeah, mine too. I'm like, mm. Hide those. <laughs> no, I think it's great though. I think that, um, but you also bring something different to the culture and and what he's doing. It, it's it it's added. It need it needs it. That part's needed. You know, even I if you don't want to build or, but you're out there. You're supporting. You're supporting what he's doing. I mean, that that's huge in itself. A lot of people it's just. Nice you know, to hear from a from a, a woman's who's perspective. Out, yeah, but outside of the system, who's not used to doing anything, how you describe something is probably very, very, like you were saying before, it's a basic thing. But but people who who are not builders or don't know anything about it can easily understand what grasp you're it. what you're right. they grasping. See the right. art. They can see get the it. Art. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's a and the way that itself. Jamie is like looking at things from her nurse perspective. It's just, it's totally outside of the car passion. Mm -hmm. He's like, well, nuts and it doesn't add up, but what's actually happening. So yeah, yeah it has to really bring like a different look, you know, and, and the uniqueness to y'all's channel. For sure. I would think to have that perspective, perspective. as the eye. Yeah. yeah. And she's capturing things that aren't just, you know, the normal all the time you see on, you know, YouTube or right. reels of Instagram. You're getting different points of yeah. view for his building yeah i know that i know that there's there are channels out there that are husband wife teams but uh we certainly didn't start it for that we started it because a i want to do something and pick up a camera because ian you were on youtube like way back in the day I way back in the day that's day. what he wanted oh, to yeah. do yeah. yeah like way way back and for us like i just wanted to like film <laughs> him. <laughs> there she is it's very loving cool. um and just basically tell a story about it about each That's build cool. yeah yeah because i even rad. think the tv show didn't capture like that like in inside view like you are you know what i mean not at all yeah it's a few way episodes better this of way. The show that jamie was on we we're kind of like wait like why like what she just an accessory like the happy wife that just oh gets murdered. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. We had to rewrite the script once because yeah. I was like, hell no, you are not. That's not me. Like Good for that. you, though. That's awesome, though. And, and that right, too. Like, you're not going to just be something they want you to be. Like, you're being your authentic self. And I'm yeah, for definitely. that, too. Yeah. That's awesome. Sometimes you got to say no. Yeah, you do. No, yeah. the power of no. no. Yeah, no. We no. need you to be jealous, <laughs> Jamie. We need you to, Hell no. We need you to be mad, right? Jamie. She's like, I'm not mad. That's I'm a hard I'll, fuck I'll, no. Let me, I'll let you know when I'm mad, but I'm not mad yet. <laughs> yeah. Those are, that's We're horrible, fun. though. That's like not fun. Yeah. We're part of a camp that's called Camp No. It's no <laughs> to everything. That's yeah, great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No. Just no. No. So, so it's you. funny how we as humans start out <clears throat> saying, no to everything you know like to whatever it's no no and then they brainwash into saying yes yes and then finally it comes back at some point you're like no hell no <laughs> i'm not doing it not doing that <laughs> you manifest it right if you make your own power right. yeah that's yeah. right that's right yeah there is a power to know so how do you feel like your youtube channel is doing starting you starting out how do you think it's progressing I mean, it's, I think it's good. For about a year to have 90 plus thousand subscribers. Oh, that's good for y'all. A million views a month. Yeah, it's something. That's yeah, really that's happening. awesome. And that's that just yeah. doing just Fantastic. a couple of days a week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're, that's really we're, good. What you see on the YouTube you. is just like, it's a part-time thing. And 
to just have that same kind of audience is like wow I could not have imagined yeah. back in well, they're 04, enjoying like, it yeah. this didn't even like exist in this capacity well and all the technology Everything like changed. the whole thing yeah it's a lot of work that's a lot of work but then being able to capture it just like she's just capturing it as it would be every day and he gets to just do his thing that's kind of cool right too. and there's no pressure like with youtube right. right now i know ian is kind of relishing in that it's like so cool. there's no time frame unlike the show where it was like you know we have to have this done in six weeks build a car in 45 minutes and we were joking right. today. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, no problem he's like, i can do it <laughs> yes no. Yeah. no duct tape what yeah there's no so limitation now we get a it. lot of comments are you ever going to finish anything and i'm like Hulu, all nine seasons are there. Banerjee Engine, go check out finished projects if right. that's what you want to see. But as much as y'all know, you guys oh, know it takes time. Car what little oh, yeah. frame takes time. forever. TV it's time okay. is not real time. Mm. No well, and and, oh, and even people... you guys do the chop at Starbirds, like dang, right? Real that was time. An, I was even <laughs> impressed. <laughs> it was like wow. Yeah, was I, I, I watched yeah. that whole thing. I was. I thought it was awesome. We were like really determined, you know, like we're gonna go there and. Like get it at least like tacked together where it's legit. Like it could go on to somebody else to right. like, well, get kinda, finished. You yeah, know? we really did want to set Alan and, up and, uh, to be set. Kind of got in. We kind of got in trouble a couple we of times. Did. Sorry, yeah. Starbirds. Yeah, they sorry. were doing the awards and we're still going. They're they were like, "What? We need to get paint for you now." And we're like, "No, we're just trying yeah. to complete it. We just really but wanted it, to have Alan set, you know, yeah, was, and watch the progress now from him. Yeah. You know, finishing it, and that's the cool part." When we were at Starbird show, we missed the awards ceremony as well. Because it's like, we didn't even know. Like, we're just doing our thing. <laughs> we're just walking yeah. around it's a talking about you. There's a lot it's of people. It's so huge, man. There's a yeah. lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a, over all a thousand you, cars. Yeah. And, for all the people out there that don't know, it is the largest building in the country. That freestanding. Is freestanding. Four, four wall. Yeah. Give me a second. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's a, it's the largest yeah. freestanding building, meaning there's in North four America, posts right. on each corner, and that's it. Nothing inside, and there's two levels. I mean, it's huge. Yeah. It is yeah. huge, man. Yeah. And, and then there's cars. something for everybody, I think that too. Was my, Starbird was my second car show ever, and then my second car show with Ian. Yeah. That's a great yeah. second yeah. car show. Oh, that, yeah, you were like, oh. Talk about trial by fire. <laughs> we were yeah. in the middle. We yeah. were taking pictures. That's cool. Like, hey, who so is know, this guy? Hey, uh, hey, girl, we're going to Tulsa. <laughs> yeah, seeing all the fine nine cars and land? everything. We're going, oi. <laughs> Landed on yeah. planet. Yeah. Landed. <laughs> bubble tops. <laughs> yeah. 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 She doesn't know anything about cars. Like, hey, we got a spaceship in the trailer. We're going to Tulsa. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, let's go. And it's just, she just smiles the whole way. Let's do it. And she's probably still smiling at night. Or she's like, oh my God, what is happening to my life? Uh, oh, awesome. but then we went through the Texas snowstorm on all the oh. things. Like, oh, my, was yeah. that the year oh. you got stuck? Is he talking about the same year you I got stuck? I don't know. That was a while ago. It was three years ago? Two years ago? Three years ago? Well, mm, how long no. ago was that, Ian? Uh, that was right before the whole world, you know, the just corona. Before. Oh, the shutdown. It was in 20, well, we got married 2019, so it was 2020, like, 2020, yeah. February yeah. 2020. Yeah. So, were you stuck in the same story? No, 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 I w I, when, when that happened to me, it was like uh, 16, 2016, oh. maybe, and uh, we went to Tulsa, and then after the awards, you know, you load up your stuff and you got to get gone, and we just rolled into a blizzard. It was uh, crazy. We went about a mile to wherever the nearest, like, hotel was, checked in, and we were snowbound for three days oh wow that's in where Tulsa. we were in a we were, we were in a half ton pickup with a full enclosed trailer with a t-bird no trailer brakes two-wheel drive oh! truck, down the freeway oh! with all the oh! trucks. i didn't know any better so ignorance was bliss oh man no, yeah <laughs> how long were you stuck for we made it no we drove oh you went through oh, oh. kept going Dang. yeah i was like i'm, I'm, I'm out i'm not i know i'm not yeah. Abominable snowman guy, like I'm out of this blizzard. It was crazy. That's rough. Yeah, that's that's scary. <laughs> yeah. That's the show circuit vibe, right? Never like again. Yeah, yeah. Go. Gotta go. Gotta Gotta go. make it. There's you always got, something. What show? What's your guys' next show that you'll be at? Uh, the Redneck Local. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. The local one. Yeah. We yeah. have a little local deal here out in the desert, but uh, the. I guess the big news is the Redneck Rumble. The Redneck Lebanon, Rumble. Tennessee. That's going to be fun. Yeah, you guys are going to have fun we there. We do have a, a local one out here, the Classic Burger Car Show. And we volunteer our time to show up, you know, meet and greet. And then all the um, 
donations like all the like we actually just put sold a shirt with dude from ian's dog that was like on the show but all the money we raised from that shirt and then like at the show and stuff we donate to the local shelter where we get nice. our oh that's awesome yeah, that's yeah. so cool, that's super that's cool. i think it's gonna be bigger this year yeah. and then the redneck rumble in june and a couple other things set up we're just trying to figure it all out we don't really Again, I mentioned like I'm kind of a hermit. All he this is. stuff is happening. I'm, <laughs> I'm content to sit here with the tortoises in the desert. Like it takes us all year to recover from SEMA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have anything build? Are you building anything for SEMA? Nope. No. No. <laughs> I was like, yeah. SEMA's another crazy show, though. I mean, they got it's huge and there's everything yeah, you can think big. of. I saw he had, a rig. He had two cars there last year from. Full custom garage. Yeah, a couple different manufacturers I've worked with. Uh, the Vintage Pro Paints had uh, one of my cars, the Bubble Top Space. Oh, that one. They had that yep. there. That was there. The first year I went to SEMA, I got to see that one. Yeah, that was right. awesome. Yeah. And then uh, last year we had two of the cars that Victor, my client, and I have created. They're so, so beautiful. Yeah, but building something for SEMA, no, nothing's on the schedule. So much pressure. Yeah. Yeah, that would be a lot of pressure. That'd be like the show all over again. You gotta have it, have it done now. Oh, he said, I need a car in 45 minutes. Ah, shit, here we go again. Yeah, that's part <laughs> of the thing. Like, you know, real-time car building. It's like, that's what I want to do. Like, you guys did at the Tulsa show. It's like, you know, you want to get in there, do good work, make it count. Yeah. Even if it's not 100% complete, you could send it off. It's like, no, our right. work is solid, right? Yeah. Right. yeah. Like, it's yeah. something you can be proud of. Yeah. Right. For sure. Yeah, that's For how sure. I think we really felt. It was like, we wanted to leave something we were proud and that, of. Like, yeah, like how they said that, because it's true. Like, you want to be proud of, you know, even if it's not fully completed. And yeah. It's important with jobs, because there's a million times where I've, I've been here. Murph and I were going to do something about the show or go whatever, and, like, some guy is talking to him about bringing in his job, and we see it, and both of us go, oh, like... I don't know who started that thing, but yeah. this isn't a this isn't a fix. We gotta lop this whole. You know, I mean, the whole thing. He's like, no, 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 no. We're starting from ground zero. I'm starting to die for that, which I love. Yeah, yeah. Isn't, it, yeah. isn't it cool though, where you can see the angles and you can. Like, that's oh. what I mean. You can you can see the and go, man. She, she's gonna, she's gonna be beautiful when she's done. And that's I, what I, makes I, her I, even a better, you know. Yeah, I love videographer. It. You know, right. to watch and capture his stuff. So that's pretty cool. Go, Jamie. Yeah, see, we have a lot of people. <laughs> You know, a lot of people also who come to us, oh, my my project was started. And it's like, I don't really want to get into somebody else. No, yes. that's you. Yeah. That gets so dicey. Yeah, the, the like the fix it stuff or like the redo or the rechop stuff. You want to out of like, like love, but it, like, it's Ooh. it's not even like restarting. It's like 10 times more work. Yeah. It's just crazy how much harder it is. You oh, know? yeah. Yeah. I bet it's that frustrating. You, you guys have a lot of people that come to you wanting to fix like something that they messed up or. Yeah, yeah we're sometimes, working on one. Yeah, we got yeah. one right now. But and it's just like as soon as you oh. swear it off, you do it again. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of people out there though that like to get a sawzall and watch YouTube, and they go, oh, "I can do it." And you can't do it. <laughs> I thought we put <laughs> a warning on the on the beginning of our. YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Do you? <laughs> yeah, no, we're yeah. Like, yeah. Just don't try this at home. Reach out and ask don't, questions. Don't, don't, don't try this at home. We are professionals. This is what we do. Don't go get a sawzall and chop the roof. And well, think it's also you start from somewhere. Like my first shop, I just about ruined it. You know, I completely can oil can the top of the roof, the whole thing, made <laughs> all the wrong cuts. But you know, thirty years later, you know how to not do that. So right, right. right? You do have to make that. Some just like project. me, I I put Gene and Gene Winfield. He's like, we can just go over that with Bondo. I warped like a patch panel that was probably like this big, and I'm like, it looks beautiful. It was so horrible, and I'm like, <laughs> so I took my hand and went across it. Went whoop! I just went right into it. I was like, oh, okay. I guess I got to get that out. But you have to learn. <laughs> you do. Oh. It's like throw some bond over that you begin. No, we can't do that. But um, you have to learn though. That's the whole part of it. So I mean, like kudos to people who were like, I'm gonna chop this top. I'm gonna right, do it. But, I've watched him enough times. I watched you enough times. You know, I'm gonna try it. So, I mean, I give them credit. If they but if you're a customer and go, I want to get a chop top. Oh, I can do it. Don't come to me for a chop. I'm the guy with the sawzall. Go, uh, <laughs> and I look and go, ah, shit. And then you're gonna take it to Murphy. He's gonna go, I'm not touching that damn thing. And I don't blame him. <laughs> It does, you know, get, get, does I, get rough. There's though, one thing about learning to, to do it, stuff. which is true. But there's other thing. There's guys out there with the confidence, 
of Joe. Like, oh, hell yeah, I can do it. And they've never done anything. But they before. see people like Ian and, you know, yeah, Marco, and they're like, he it's easy, the we can do it. We know we can do it. 30 years he's been doing it. These cats right. are not watching a YouTube That's video another little note minutes. Jamie puts in 30 years. Been doing yeah. This. Don't right. do it. Yeah. I think, though, I think it, it takes like 30 years to, like, get good at it. Yeah. You know? Is that how you feel, Ian? Like, it's taken that long to craft, like, your skill? Well, Jamie asked me if I'd ever done a chop live in front of people. I'm like, hell no. I don't want that kind of criticism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're invited. Oh, you so ever get asked to another it, right? one? I do some good yes. editing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you had a panel of judges. Tell, <laughs> tell them what, what you did to me. Which thing did I do? Which thing? Well, when you made me move, because, like, I'm, oh, like, I'm in so, it to win it. Like, So I forget how this went down, but <laughs> when we first started, she was like, okay, the other side of the car that's away from where the people can be. She's like, I'm just going to work on this just side. Just like on the side. I'm just going to I'm like, stay yeah, focused. okay, babe. Like, whatever, you know, that's fine. I'll, whatever. <laughs> and um, next thing, next thing, she's on, like, the other side. And she's, like, jamming. She, like, gets no, into No, that her. was you pulling me away. You're like, I can't be on the side anymore. I got to come over here. Because oh, you were just, like. I had to fix something. Under pressure. <laughs> like, oh, well, you know, there, so there's these. It's like a roller coaster doing it live, right? Like, you have these moments of just being super focused and everything's like jamming. And then it's weird. Like you just like catch somebody like looking at you and all of a sudden you're like in your head, you're like, Oh, mm -hmm. like I got to like refocus or whatever. Yeah. But um, Same there, thing. there was, yeah. there was <laughs> these two dudes that like, and I, I think they genuinely they would just were really see. entertained. Like they, they just were like, they were into it. Super like just wanting to see it go down. And, um, they were there for so long. Like they were just in the same spot, just like looking for so long. I started to, I just, what, what you're saying? I was like, I need to change the scenery. Like I just, I can't, I can't have, I just gotta have he a break the same somehow. Way, though. He doesn't like it when people stare at him for too long. No, it freaks him out. Nice. He's like, I can't. You saw it. Yeah. <laughs> I love yeah. it though. Like yeah, I don't want to be, I want to see how is he doing that. I want to see. In your head there, you're like, well, I wonder what they're thinking I'm doing wrong. And then you're like, I don't get it. And then I'm like, babe, like I just need to be over here for a minute. Like you gotta move go. Like, like, we're, we're changing. I'm like sides. in the jam. I'm in the zone. And he's like, you gotta move. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> but I'm like, I'm like those two kids. I'm like, I want to know exactly how he's doing it because you can learn. I feel like they were learning something from it, whether they've yeah. done it or not. They're probably watching a different technique. And like, I'd right. love to sit and watch Ian do his thing. I'd be like, holy shit, how do you do that? It's just well, a that's, different perspective. That, that's like the cool thing about the YouTube, which I think, Ian, I can speak for us, for you, is like, I'm able to watch him like we're married, right? Like we're partners, we're together. And like, I can be like over his shoulder, like. You know, yeah. and yeah. Like, oh, he's not gonna be like, and like he just keeps on moving. It doesn't phase him. But there's still that stress of somebody like monitoring. It's like, yeah, oh, no, right. here. don't look. But at then when guy, I edit, right? when I edit it, you know, like the little bitty things, or maybe that moment where like maybe you felt a little insecure, and even some of the videos I've been on, like you can just kind of like expose. There you go. <laughs> Move on to next you know, like, and it flows it's right in. A hard cut, like a hard edit. It's just like there's no transition. It's just hard. Right, the live work does not afford oh, yeah. that. Oh, live I, work doesn't afford that. I give you guys a lot of credit for doing a chop at Starbirds, like for real. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it was good. It was we fun. had fun. It was fun. I think it was just fun. Yeah, yeah. It, it. Is that it the is first weird, time you guys different. have done a live chop like that? No, no. So this second was time. the second one. We did one last year in Indiana. Um. Uh, evil shindig yeah and that was outside with wind wind oh, yeah trying, trying to weld and, i was like hey can somebody yeah. hold a blanket oh, over while i'm trying to weld right <laughs> now and that one was Shoo. like i was thinking about it. it's like that one was really like trial by fire in terms of dealing with the people because there was nothing that was sectioned off like the people were just kind of allowed to right come 360 you. around the car wherever they wanted and oh, wow. literally like you guys like I would be trying to weld. Uh, what you doing? Yeah, and I could what like you... smell somebody's breath almost, and I'd like put my hood up and like it's like nice weld or something. Right like there. you're in That's my hood. Like what the fuck? Like that was rough. That was like. But that was like I a good bet. learning experience too. And we did the same thing. We finished it in actually two days because there was only a Friday and Saturday show, which I thought it was three days. So I misinformed the guys, and they're yeah. like what we don't have an extra day so like thursday we got there and braced everything up and got it all together and 
we started Friday and Saturday we were done. So that was pretty cool. Wow. And yeah, same yeah, thing like, for David. Like we just wanted to set him up work. so he we can watch the progress. And yeah. both of them said they're going to come out to Lone Star Roundup next year. Yeah. So it was a lot, so though. Cool. You know, like that two day one, like it was like a 13 hour day and like a like a 15 hour day. Like we really put in the put in the time. The track, oh. Yeah. yeah. But it was James, great. I talked a little bit about having a metal shaving or chop top class yes. here. But that's yeah. one thing I said to her. <laughs> I can't like, have 50 people like crowd <laughs> over. This is not a football huddle. No. Oh, man. Right. They, th you know how many people I, would I dig to get that experience from you? It's yeah. So it's, awesome. it's a bit stressful, man. Yeah. You guys got to do it. People on top do of you. it. Do it. We've but, thought about it. I mean, maybe, but, you know, we have kind of put feelers out for it. Um, it would probably be like a class of like maybe five people. Not like I agree with that. Yeah, not, not like 10, 15. I think that's like too much. But I think that's great though, because those five people like are really mm. going to be the folk, like right. they'll be they'll focused be solid. and yeah. be more intimate. And you'll have more like, time with them. Something. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Our, like our house like isn't like a museum, like our ranch, like where we live, like, like we live here. You know what I mean? Right. So it's, yeah. Yeah. We don't we don't want people wandering around and like looking at stuff no so strangers like, like learn right like yeah oh it's like you're just here to like learn some cool stuff That's yeah why we five miles off the pavement <laughs> 10 miles from the nearest gas station i know that you're they're in their whole little world and it's all That's, like dude that is amy and ian world i want to go out there I'm i want to own my own island someday and i'm the only one on it and i will be happy as a pig in shit Right. Nobody around me. I, I love hearing what you just 10 miles from the closest gas station, yeah. five miles from a road. Shangri La. That yeah. sounds perfect. I love watching all her like stories she puts up <laughs> on Instagram because it's like just the desert, but it's just the way she captures it. It's so cool. Like, you're like, I want to be there right now. Thank I want to have one. I want to sit there with the puppies. I want to go in the shop and be like, what are you working on? If you ever do do hey. it, make sure just have t shirts made for everyone that says three feet. You go, what's that? It says, don't get within three feet of yeah. me or Stay anybody back. else. Back three, three feet. feet. Yeah. 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 Stay I back. Love. If you can see this, you're way the, too close. The name of the class is three feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like the sticker on the back of the truck, like, stay back exactly. 200 yards, not responsible for, <laughs> well, for your own damages. Yeah. 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 You can't be responsible. You can get hit with a tool or some other thing. That's right. Right. I didn't yeah. mean to do it. <laughs> He's like, I have a tendency to hurt One people. Second, that are I gotta handle the dogs. It's a whole dog event unfolding out there. I think it'd be really cool for you to do a chop class, though. And if it was five people, it'd be rad. I know. Yeah, and that's one thing. I don't really know what I would teach anyone except how like to how to wing top. it. It's like I've read the book How to Chop a Top by the guy Tex Avery, I think. Yeah. And like I when I was when I was 25, I tried to chop top this VW bus, full length VW bus. Oh yeah, I love VWs. I'm gonna chop the top. Ruined it completely. By ruined. yourself? Were you doing it by yourself? Yeah, yeah. And That's like, a lot. Well, no, no, but... no training. I went to welding. School, no training. No nothing. That is a long but ring. I, to I think do by like yourself. like for me like I'd be I was thinking in my head like. Oh, I would go to Ian's chop class. Yeah, I would too. I'm I'm already signed up. Because yeah. you know, people one of the five. like people who are self taught like are the most like kind of interesting to me because we will come up with our sort of own formula, you know, our little right. strategy. Because you've done enough of them where it's like I got a pretty yeah. good, you know, idea of how I'm going to go about this. So I would love to see like how Ian's mm -hmm. brain works and how he goes about chopping his up. Now, where did you did you have somebody who inspired you to to do all this? What you're doing today? Did you have a, a father uh, or a grandfather? Only, was it just no, an inspiration? Nobody in my family, nobody in my family is into cars at all. They couldn't understand. I took the I took the they exhaust. They still don't. I took the exhaust <laughs> on my boat. <laughs> no, I just read the magazines. You know, Winfield, Barris, Raw, yeah. all the people, Darrell, all the Star, little little books. Ian, where did where did you grow up? New York, right outside of New, New York, York City. Yeah, yeah. Not a lot of custom going on out no, there. No, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you got hooked somehow. So well, mainly mainly the car culture and skateboarding. All the magazines yeah. come out of Southern California. I was like, that's where I'm going. That's the shit. Yeah. 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 That's so cool. And wh how old were you when you when you left? 27. Yeah. yeah. I had a good job in New York City working in construction. Saved uh -huh. all my money and got out of there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good for you. <laughs> like how you said that saved all my money. Yeah, that's great. Wow, cool. That's way. That's really cool to to know. Like, 
Yeah, no, Ian was out here like in the 90s. Like, well, 97, I moved out. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. right out of, I graduated high school in 89, and my dad was like, You got two choices. He was like, You got two choices. You could either uh, go to work or go to work. I was like, I'll take option two. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Did that. Saved my money and moved the hell out of New York City. And then you Gone. built that rod and you kept on showing up to Bob, Bob's Big Boy. Yeah, I landed in Sun Valley, right near Scratch. He would like go to the place around the block yeah. from each other. And so it was like, yeah, like, yeah, you're cool right on. Yeah, that's kind of got yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, Scratch loves loves this guy. Big hearts. Yeah. For mm-hmm. sure. Same. We were just kids together. <laughs> They were <laughs> back so in the true. day. See some of the pictures. Yet 27, 28, 30 years old. Yeah, right. Come on. Not really kids. Uh-huh. It happened. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, we um we actually just got to see Scratch this, this weekend. weekend yeah. yeah. We dropped our trailer off at the shop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's a good guy. Back in Texas, that 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 um Texas native returns to Texas. Yeah, he returned. Story. Return to Texas. Yeah, I got to go to a shop. I got to go to a shop once. Where was the shop at? Down in the valley before he moved back to Texas. Was it oh, uh, in, Burbank? In oh, in LA. Oh, this was in Los Angeles down yeah, there. One yeah. time yeah. before he moved. Yeah. Yeah. Was he at that shop before the Burbank one? That was after, the for his first right shop. After, right after Burbank, he moved to downtown LA. He had a bunch oh, of stupid okay. people in this big. Oh big yeah, office. I remember. Yeah. I remember that. Right I had next a key to and there was like a bunch yeah. of like studio <laughs> like <Jimmy's> like, people. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, where am I? <laughs> yeah, I went to a couple of cool motorcycle club events in that building. They had a rooftop parking garage. Yeah, that's a cool spot. Wow. That's cool. Yeah. LA is. <laughs> it's crazy how fast the years go by. Brother, that's for sure. They do fly. Yeah. That's why we should enjoy all of our years as mm-hmm. they come. Live right. in the moment, girl. In the moment. I'm yeah. for it. Look yeah. forward. Leave it all behind in the rearview mirror the and moment. look forward. <laughs> in the moment. Go. Yes. In the moment. In the moment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, 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 cheers. Well, man, it's yeah. been really cool talking to these two. It has, I, I mean, man. I've already signed up for his chop class. He has not had yet. Yeah. But I'm going to be there. I'm one of the five. I'm going to come Are you going to be number two? No, listen, I'm not You're even going to. I'm not even. You I'm going to stand in the binoculars. I'm just going to crash. I'll stand in the, I'll stand in the way corner and I'll just have binoculars. I'm going to sit in the pool. There's going to be 130 degrees. I'm just here to hold tools. Yeah. I'm a great assistant. Come here. Check. Yeah, it's going to be 110. That's for sure. Sit down. Depending it's going to be hot. Well, Sit down. I, if I can deal deal with the dragon Texas, you know, breath weather, the fan that blows hot air on me all day long, I think I can do it. No, I, I'm, I'm going to sit in the pool. Well, well, you can like out here. It's not humid. It is a dry. Heat. Well, that's true. It's dry. Well, yeah. like you just like spray yourself down with the hose, and you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> I like fair. it. 110. And I drink from the terrible. hose too. So mm-hmm. down there or here. It's, it's sticky, sticky Whoa. here. Hurts. Yeah, it's very sticky. That's a lot of energy. Hey. Yeah, you guys got a nice building too. We are working in a barn. This is pretty much wood, it. Wood frame barn with eight foot ceiling. So we're trying to get a shop <laughs> so together. Good. Oh, there's the bug. I forgot to ask. You Tell us about the bug, light, man. <laughs> bug looks massive in this room. I mean, look at that. It looks like a giant vehicle it in this room. Does. Yeah. It really does. It's a really it small huge. workshop. It's about 1,200 square feet with Eight foot ceilings, yeah, it's pretty small you, in here. Yeah. Just your Can face you get uh, like two, two or three projects in there? Well, with the rain we've been having, we got the Jeep and the bug in here, but all the stuff is on a slab outside. We got the lift outside, and yeah, yeah. The wind and the sun and all the things. It's pretty, pretty wild west out here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that dog. She's awesome. Yeah, water. <laughs> what up. um. Like she just showed up out of the middle of the desert. She's got we just can't. Boots. We can't put her in a shelter. Like no. No. wasn't in a shelter, so we're just like she's ours. Our Lil, our older pity hates her, so we're just um, kind of keeping is them that, separate. And is that like territorial? Out. Like you're on my land. What are you doing it's, here? Is your, where did you come from? They're mean. Yeah. You you still have the other puppy that had the surgery? Is that no. the yeah. older one? No. Oh. Well, okay, Lil, no, Lil, Lil just had surgery. Yeah, yeah one of them just had surgery. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have Blue. He's like our middle age. He's like three. Yeah. And he's one that we got from the shelter. And him and her get along just fine. But it's just oh. Lil. She's seven and just grumpy. 
Mm. I've been here long enough. Yeah. yeah. This is my not... place. No, we're not going to say anything. Don't Lil has a nickname. She's the boss. She's the boss lady. She's the boss. Yeah. Is she mm-hmm. the seven? She's the seven year old or no? Yeah. That's the yeah. other one. No, that's yeah. Seven-year-old. No. Yeah. Large yeah. and in charge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So are you guys going? You guys are going to the West Coast Customs show. Yes. Going to West Coast Customs. Yep. Um, we are well. So in April, Roundup is our home show, and we do our open house. Uh, that's a big thing. It's a lot of work. And then uh, West Coast, and then we're gonna go to Kansas. Yeah. Yes, we're Salina. gonna go to Salina this year. Yeah, a lot of people saying I gotta go to Salina. That's a vibe. Yeah, thing. let's go. Yeah, it's hot there out. too. You'll be at home. Yeah. It's uh, <laughs> it can be like one fifteen or whatever in Salina. <laughs> Uh, Dreadful. but a great show and there's a lot of cars that uh, are east coast so you know there's a lot of stuff you don't get to see you right. know a lot so it's, that's pretty cool a lot of older builds and um, it's a good time you guys should go to Kansas yeah check it out yeah. we'll be there yeah. Yeah. yeah we would be down for that nice yeah and then I don't know I don't know what's from there this year um it, we we got to get something built you know and we've been a little bit uh behind in our builds due to doing other stuff but um i think it's gonna be a lot of time in the shop this year just like tons of head down working yeah. and that's in the kind shop of what we, that's kind of what we have been doing what ian has been doing is just kind of yeah. resetting you know after being on on the television show for so long and taking a break you know, now he's actually able to build something yeah. that he like really wants to build. So we've just That's been kind awesome. of funny. And so we haven't really done, you haven't done many appearances. No, it's, it's a funny story. Cause uh, when I did have the good union construction job in New York city, this bricklayer Mason guy was like, just remember the three T's things take time. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> isn't that the truth? You rush for. <laughs> <laughs> things take time everything takes time don't rush through it okay. yeah i just remembered that non-stop yeah that's cool does that it you feel guys- good to have that ability now to ha- be able to take your time to do the stuff that you want to build now quality work yeah exactly yeah. Not rushing yeah. through tv show prop I'm not into that yeah 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 i get that Yeah, people think it's like a great thing and i and it is a great thing for certain well, things but a- man it really puts a toll on like yeah. the things you want to create too because it's also their vision of what they want you to do and you're just having to go with it you know but also try to give your best at the same time it's it's got to be brutal so you probably I'm are really adjusting to like the the chill life like where you're chill. doing your thing <laughs> yeah. almost everyone you know or meet in the car building industry who's done tv appearances will say yeah, it's about making a TV show. And that really is it. It's about For making sure. a TV show, but it does not even close to reflect the amount of time it takes to actually do the work. Yeah. 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 For sure. I'm always, um, well, I was just thinking the chill life, but at like 120 degrees. But <laughs> I'm always thinking, man, like, it's taking me forever to do something. But I, I just thinking, like, I should be probably trying to remind myself I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to do it nice. You know, I could try to Your best. do it right, but it, it does take me a long ass time to do shit. That's for sure. Well, and you're only that, one person. Like, like for yeah. me, like that I like with our YouTube that I kind of really try to like focus on. It's like my drishti, like where I like think about is the Hirahata. Like that thing is a masterpiece. Mm-hmm. And like to like watch like the history about it and how much like it kind of changed and there was so much modification and all the years. Like it was out there for like years. Right. Yeah, it was just <laughs> hidden. We saw that at yeah. a car show and I was showing Jamie, look at the chrome around the window surround. Yeah. Like, it's not perfect. Yeah. Look at right. the whole car. Like it's it was never yeah. so silky, never with a hammer perfect. marked yeah. and like, well, we saw it at Galpin. It was yeah. very crude. Very crude. It did, and like go see it. And I just like for me, like I just have an eye for art, you know, aside from cars. And I was just like, wow, like these people that were working on it were sculpting this and just right. You can't take, well, so, I think even Bear said you can't look at both. The, you can't look at the car on each side at the same time. So I stand maybe by this, that yeah. Right, so <laughs> one skirt's a little longer than the other skirt. You know, well, like it me, wasn't like, with our YouTube. That's what I guess for me. I'm trying to convey is like things. You take time. Like works of art, custom cars. They take right. time. 
take a lot of grief. When are you ever going to be finished? Are you going to finish? It's like. Those are people who don't understand the game. They exactly. don't understand they what you're know. doing, and it, and you you nailed the down the head the where you said it art. It is art. Right. Every car you do. That's what we were saying earlier about when it comes into its own personality and soul. Every mm-hmm. car does because every car is its own entity, its own art form, its own yep. soul. You it know, yeah. it, it does make a difference, man. All right, yeah. we, unfortunately, I'm getting the thumbs up from. From our guy about about closing up shops. So if people want to get a hold of y'all, let us give us give us all of your skinnies on how they get yeah. hold of your YouTube channel. Like, everything, subscribe. everything, ding, ding. everything. Yeah. Okay. First of all, shop, shop don't class. contact us. <laughs> first, no, leave us alone. Okay. You can contact us. <laughs> okay, that's right. Second of all, we have a YouTube channel. You can search yes. my name on YouTube. Or it's at Full Custom Ian. Full custom Ian. And then he's the same thing on Insta. And then I'm Mrs. Russo. But Follow, I don't really like, like subscribe. I mean, I, if you don't, you're missing the fuck out. Right. No, it. we we care more. Like for me, my focus right now is more about our YouTube. So like I would love for people to, you know, find our YouTube, subscribe, follow it, share, comment, and just see like what like custom culture is all about, you know, like Absolutely. that counter culture, us doing what it is that we want to do and our friends, you know what I mean, that are doing like the same thing. For Instagram and stuff, like I, for me, I don't care. But Ian, he's got, he's the one with all the following, as you can see. <laughs> yeah. hey, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, those of you who are watching this, hit, if you're watching YouTube, hit our subscribe button, hit the bell, go to their YouTube channel, hit their subscribe yes. button, hit their bell, and get to yep. see everything that both shops are doing, man. And it has been an absolute pleasure talking with y'all. And I can't wait to see you guys one of these days Come down on. here in Austin, up in Kansas, or in the, in the desert someday. If I show up with a parasol and a, wearing a tutu or something and cold hey. beer, I'm, I'm coming for the pool. Awesome. There is Love. no judgment here. <laughs> <laughs> put on your pink shirt and let's party. Let's yeah, you know, I, I've been I've been waiting for that. Um, I want to give Ian props for his pink shirt. Yes, yeah. I'm a huge wearing... huge pink fan. Uh, had a pink car and uh, have pink he shirts and have the pink. So ah, great choice, homie. Pink, we might have a pink shirt to send you. Oh, I would love that. We got one to send back. Yeah, we will trade you. We have a trade you. Yeah, yes, XL a- a- XL. What size? Oh, that's <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's great. All right. Yeah, great shirt, bro. And thank well, you guys so much. Yeah, it's been thank fun. You. Yeah. Absolute pleasure to get to meet y'all and talk with y'all, man. Hey. Thank you guys so much for being on the Custom Culture Rodcast, brought to you by Murfo's Shop, Rod and Custom Shop in beautiful Buta, Texas. You guys, thanks again. Appreciate you guys. Good night. <laughs>